Hey, what is going on? I am AC, and welcome to my new tutorial for the Buildcraft add-on, Additional Buildcraft Objects. Pretty obvious, it's for Buildcraft. Um, so, you need to have Buildcraft installed to use this uh, mod. I suppose it's an add-on for a mod, really. It's an add-on for another mod. So yeah, you need Buildcraft installed to be able to use it. Basically, as the name suggests, it adds additional objects. It adds new pipes which I'm, uh, I'm going to go over, show you how to craft them all, what they all do, what they're all called, you know, that sort of stuff. I won't lie, it's inevitable, I'm going to lose my train of thought completely at some point during this video, because I am watching the Olympics. <laughs> uh, obviously the Olympics is on at the minute. Um, you can't help but watch it really. I mean, you got to watch it at some point. Considering it is in London, I mean, my... Uh, the capital of, of my, my my country so anyway I'll get straight on with it um how many pipes are there that's added there's one two three four five six seven uh eight nine ten that's it right there's ten new pipes that are added f through this add-on for buildcraft uh the first one being this one here which is a valve pipe as you can see let me just get rid of these and I'll get these out for a, an example. Basically what the valve pipe does, it acts as a redstone engine. So say you've got sort of space issues but you want to be pumping out of a tank but you have space issues. It is waterproof as well I should probably mention. Um, so yeah, you've got space issues. You don't want to be messing about putting a redstone engine um, and redstone torches or levers about. So basically you just put the valve pipe on and you can turn it on and off as well which is also good and you can also add your lever straight to the, the the pipe itself you don't have to put it next to it or anything you can add it straight onto it so yeah that's what it does oh god sorry about that that's what it does you can turn it on and off obviously it's got nowhere to go so i mean it's not gonna it's just gonna keep going around but yeah obviously it had, if it had somewhere where to go this would all empty out and then you could turn it on again or you know, you could activate your redstone signal every, I don't know, five minutes or something. Whatever. I mean, obviously, be creative. But yeah, that's what it does. You craft it like this. There you go. Two wooden waterproof pipes and a lever in the middle. So it's not that expensive either. It's quite good uh, for what it does. So yeah, I'll move on now. Get rid of that. And where's the next one? There it is. A golden iron waterproof pipe, which is this one here. Let me get my wrench. Um, and basically, it's an iron pipe, but waterproofed. <laughs> uh, and it's also, it's, it's made golden as well as iron, just as, so it keeps its, uh, its water pressure, so it goes just as fast as a golden pipe. So you're basically losing no speed. And there you go. As you can see, when you right-click on it with a wrench, just as an iron pipe does, it changes the output. And again, if you activate it with a redstone signal, it will change the output as well. Um, so yeah, it's for things like this, so everything goes where you want it to. If you've got liquids coming in from multiple directions, they're both going to go... Okay. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, there you go. So they're both going to go into here instead of going around and then coming back. It's just, you know, just makes your piping systems a lot neater, I should say. Um, yeah, oh, there's this pipe here. Completely missed that one there. Oh, here, yeah, golden iron. How'd you make that? There you go. An iron waterproof pipe and a golden waterproof. I mean, iron waterproof, obviously, like that. So, um, yeah, this next one is called a balance pipe, which is there. You create it like this, a redstone engine in the middle and two wooden waterproof pipes. Might seem like a bit of an awkward recipe to make, but it's worth it. Basically, what it does, it will connect two tanks, or I suppose if you put four tanks, if you put another two here and here, then it'll do that as well. And it basically puts them, makes sure they go to all, let, let, let me think how to word it. Basically, all the tanks that it's connected to will all have the exact same amount of liquid in them, because this balance pipe's balance, balance pipe balances it out. There we go. If I get rid of that, add a load to this one. As you can see, they're both unbalanced now, but if I put a balance pipe down, it's going to balance them both out. And again, if I just add liquid to this one, then it's going to balance it out with the other one. So yeah, that's a balance pipe. 
So that can be quite useful as well. If you've got liquid coming into one tank, but you want it into more than one, a balance pack could be quite helpful. Um, but it is a bit of an awkward recipe. But I mean, I suppose it's not that bad. I mean, it's not, it's not resource. It's not taking up loads of resources or anything. I mean, it's just a bit of an awkward recipe. Um, so yeah, that's the balance pipe. Now next, which one's it? Ah, okay then, yeah. The diamond liquids pipe. It's pretty much does as it says. I mean, do you know what a diamond pipe does? It's used for sorting things. So if I right click here, as you can see I've got lava, oil and water. So let me just get some of those. Caps. Uh, lava, water, uh, oil. There we go. And you can see I've got them all set up to go down different ways. So basically all this is, you can pump out loads of different liquids. You can pull them all into one way like this. Like say you had three pumps over here and had them all coming down here. You can have them all go into separate tanks and there's no worries of them getting mixed up or anything. So if I was to put oil in there, it's going to go straight to there. And you can see it's not going down either of these. That's that. And then water, it's going to do the same but down there. Not going anywhere else. And then lava. And as well it allows you to basically have more than one liquid going down here at a time without worrying about them getting all messed up. So if I do that and then that and then that. All three liquids are actually in here at the minute. All sieving out at the same time. But none of them will get mixed up. They'll all go where they're supposed to. So quite helpful. And I'm assuming you just make it like yeah, just a diamond transport pipe with pipe waterproof. So I mean obviously just as expensive as a diamond liquid pipe really. I mean pipe waterproof isn't that hard to get hold of. This one is a round robin pipe. Uh transport pipe, yeah. Round robin transport pipe. Basically what it does it uh it will distribute items going through it in a round robin sort of fashion as it says. Um so basically it'll go one, 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 one. It'll just go round all the outputs once and then start again. So for example I'll just throw some of these. There you go. As you can see they both went down different ones. This will come in here. This will go back in there. Oh what? Oh, okay, then it's set up. So it goes one, one, and then one. So that's the way it goes. So this one will come into here. This one will go into the end. This one will go to the left. This one will go to the right. I suppose if you had one on top and one below as well, it would do the same for them. But yeah, that's basically all it does. So it can be quite helpful if you're trying to sort things equally. So you've got a quarry running and you're getting lots of stone. And you've got stone coming in one way, but you want to, don't just want to fill up one chest. You can have one of these and it distribute it equally obviously so yeah it could be quite useful and you make that with a stone transport pipe and gravel so not even that expensive to make uh, right where am I going next let's go to this one right this one's an insertion pipe and this this, this green one here and basically I'll show you what it does I can't remember I can't remember which one does which but both of these pipes do almost the same thing just the other way around Right, okay, so, this insertion pipe, the green one, will always make sure that any item passing through it will go into the nearest inventory instead of a pipe. So as you can see, there's a pipe coming up here. So, instead of being distributed equally, like in between that, in between the chest and the pipe, like this one would, as you can see, if I drop a couple in, some will go into the chest, some will go up here. This one will always make sure it goes into the chest and never up the pipe, so, there you go. All of them will go into the pipe, including that one that's just being damn awkward. Um, I broke it. Oh well. But yeah, that's what that one does. And it's made like this. There you go. Stone transport pipe, piece of redstone. Now this one does the opposite. This is the extraction pipe. Well, extraction transport pipe. Yeah, you can't do that. Um, basically, it'll do exactly the opposite. Instead of going into the nearest inventory, again... I'll show you an example. It can go down either. 
instead of going into the nearest in inventory like this one did, it will always go down the pipe that's attached to it instead of the inventory. So yeah. And that one is crafted oh, like that. Just a piece of wood, well, wooden planks. Uh, and a stone transport pipe. And the good thing about this as well, it acts like a wooden pipe. As you can see there, I've got, yeah, I've got some stuff in it. Fire, uh, use my redstone engine. And there you go. You get stuff out of it. So it acts like a wooden pipe as well. So, quite useful. Uh, okay. Let me get this one ready. Where is it? There, compactor pipe. Yeah, so the compactor pipe, uh, let me just set that. Compactor pipe basically compacts items into stacks of 16 that are coming through it. So, as you can see, if I do that, oh, it's also activated by a red, redstone signal. <laughs> you have to have a redstone signal applied to it. So, as you can see, nothing happened that time. They all just came out, all different. But if I was to put it on, as you can see, it changes as well. It sort of closes. They all sort of stop and wait and as well I think if you leave it for long enough it will just pop them all out like yeah there you go just like that but as you can see they all come out as one thing instead of however many I just threw in um, and they'll stack up to 16 so if I throw how many more oh there you go see it come out as one so it basically just compacts numerous items into one um i don't know i suppose it'll reduce lag maybe um i can't can't really think what this would be used for but whatever i suppose it's i don't know i really don't know um and that's made with a piston and a stone transport pipe now these what's up here oh yeah i remember right this last one um, last one, this isn't the last one, this is a bounce transport pipe and again activated a redstone signal so when you've got your signal off it's like this and it will be set to bounce so if I throw some stuff in they'll get to that pipe and they'll just bounce back obviously like the name suggests it's gonna bounce back but if you put that on they'll just be allowed to go through um, simple as that, that's all it does uh, yeah pretty simple um, that's being that 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 is created using a stone stone transport pipe and cobblestone. Uh, I can't really think of an example use for it. I mean, there's plenty of usage you could have for it. But yeah, that was the bounce transport pipe. This one's the crossover transport pipe. I'll show you how you make it first. It's a stone transport pipe and an iron transport pipe. You'll see why once you see what it does. Sorry, watching the Olympics again. Um, basically, what happens here is. Uh, if you have four pipes connected to it like this, or six I suppose, um, whichever way you put, pull it in, so if I was to put an item in here, it will always come out the opposite end, so it will come out here, or in there, it will come out here, if I put one in the top, it would come out the bottom, so for example, if I try and throw two in at the same time, no, I missed, oh come on, so yeah, that's, that's basically what it does, it just, throws it into the opposite side and they will never go sort of anywhere else they'll always go to the opposite side so that could be helpful for sorting systems maybe but yeah now onto the very last pipe of this I've set up this sort of little system just as an example I've got an assembly table down here requesting redstone chipsets just one laser I mean I'm not really that fussed about making them um, three combustion engines to f uh, power it let me just move those um, yeah just set with levers and basically what this is up here is the pipe which I'm showing you this is the last one the power switch pipe created using a golden conductive pipe and a lever um, and what it does as you can see it's not connecting to anything but if I was to flip that it is so basically it's a switch as the name suggests if you turn it on it's going to allow it it's going to allow power to pass through it if you turn it off it's going to block it so if i turn all these on there you go we're getting power but it's got nowhere to go to so basically if i turn that on as you can see it started powering the laser if i turn it off again this has an internal buffer so i mean it'll go for a while 
but it'll stop in a second. There you go, stop now. It's run out of power, but if I turn it back on again. So yeah, it's just a switch for your power. So if you have a lot of machines hooked up to just one array of uh, one array of engines, obviously you can just pick which machines are getting powered over other machines. So it is quite useful. I use I, I use this uh, this pipe a lot, and again the same as with the valve pipe over there. You can just hook a lever straight up to it. So pretty helpful. So yeah, um, that's all of them. Oh god, I'm so bad at aiming. Um, yeah, so that's all of the additional buildcraft objects from the mod. Um, well yeah, there's not much else to say, yeah. Uh, I'll upload another one at some point in the near future of the other buildcraft add-on that I use and then I'll get onto something like red power or something like that but yeah um, for now that, that that's, that's it I've been AC this has been the buildcraft additional buildcraft objects mod add-on for buildcraft um, be sure to check out my buildcraft playlist for other tutorials and yeah I'll see you soon